Hello everyone, it is John. Oh, and I'm in a good mood today. I've picked up Raptor. And many thanks to Dana for me being able to get this one. I've been hunting this for a while. For a two-player game, this is this is excellent. I uh, I played this, as I think I will mention in the, in the other part of the video. No, I'll leave it there because I have a tendency that I shoot these in obviously in two parts. Uh, the first, uh, the one of the parts is obviously unboxing and looking at what the contents are, and I generally do what I'm doing now after I've done that. And of course, all I want to do is ramble on, but I won't. So look, this is Raptor. I thoroughly enjoyed this game. For a two-player game, it is excellent. I've, I just love it. Although it's not as good as Unmatched, but. It's one of my. It's up there with one of the games that I do enjoy playing. So let's go on to the rest of my video. Right, let's have a look at the unboxing of Raptor, which I must thank a local lady by the name of Dana very much for having obtained this. I played this, I think, last year, about probably this time, I think, maybe, maybe a bit later with one of my friends when... I was, uh, with all the lockdowns and everything, we were doing a lot of online gaming until I found out that my poor old computer couldn't hack with the, uh, <laughs> couldn't keep up with all the, the memory requirements and everything else. But look, I played this with, with my friend Pat and uh, I loved this game. I thought it was brilliant. The mechanism was nice and, chi uh, was nice and simple. And, uh, as I said, it's been on my hunt list for quite some time. And, uh, look, here we go. So there's the, uh, the box opened. Hopefully, I might move this up a bit and try and keep everything within frame. Using my, uh, my main room that's got the, well, not main room, but one of the rooms. So what have we got here? We've got a nice little thing of what games they also produce. Oh, I didn't know they did Dice Town. Western Legends, yeah, I keep seeing that. Cyclades, I must look at I must look at getting that eventually. I've got Kemet. Kemet was really, really good. Uh haven't got Takanoko yet. Uh, but yes, yeah, so they're the um Oh yes, I've got Captain Sonar. That is a good game to play if you can get the number the right number of people to play it. So and Room 25, I have got to get that. It's so hard to uh, to try and find room 25. But yes, that's next on my list. All right, so <laughs> I'm meaning to be talking about unboxing, aren't I? So the rules are really simple. What can I say? It uh, comes in English and French. French. So really, the rules are two, four, six, eight, or seven pages in uh, in length. So I'm, yeah, as I said, I've played this game and I really, really like it. And uh, of course, we've got the the boards. So the Raptors. So we've got the English on one side, French on the other, and uh, the cards, what they do. The game itself, uh, yeah, I'm trying to remember how it actually all goes together, but it is a really simple one where the number, where the card number uh, dictates the person who gets their effect played off, I think. So the highest person, yeah. So it's it's come it comes down to how you can play your cards out and hope that you can out bluff your opponent with uh, with what you've got. But yes, it was uh, it was good. The uh, the boards themselves are yeah, nice and simple. Two sided, so you can obviously have them on the orange or the or the green, and these pair together or go together to form a larger board, which is. Which is good. So uh, I'll have a lot of fun, I think, popping these out. 
And then we've got the, the cards. So the uh, cards look as though they are in an exceptionally good... Once I get to open them... <laughs> oh dear, yes. I, uh, look, I take my time doing things, don't I? Silly old man, aren't I? Eh? Yes, it was interesting talking about pronunciation of some things. Like uh, when I was talking to Dana, was that uh, my daughter's name is spelt the same as hers, but we pronounce it Dana. So uh, but yes, it was all very, very, very nice meeting another gamer in my area. Um, I really do hope that we can meet up for some other games. Would be even better. So. Uh, but yes, so we've got the cards, the raptor cards, and then the uh, hunters or the, or the company cards. So it's really good. I'll have to see. I presume I've probably got some spare sleeves. I think I'll probably sleeve this. And then we have the, uh, the most important thing, which are obviously the... Uh, the uh, the figures and I must admit they are really really nice actually for the uh, mother raptor and we've got five little ones which I think will need to be kept kept an eye on because I can see them falling off the table and disappearing I think a little too easily so that's the uh, that's the raptor and then there's the uh, explorers of the uh, the scientists so they're all rather nice rather nice cards uh, nice figures you got them I like this you've even got one chap running away so uh, I think really really nice honestly I wouldn't mind painting these if I uh, if I had the paints I would probably probably do that but yeah well there you go good people there's the uh, of course the box insert which is a bit of a pain because I was just looking at that thinking oh yes the cards will fit in there nicely now what about the uh, will these oh excellent no wastage the boards will fold up very nice or not fold up but they'll all stack nicely there and uh, yeah, no loss, and I get to keep this lovely looking insert. All right, well, look, thank you very much for watching this. Uh, till next time, signing off, the Honourable John.